This is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Tech Support, and today I want to show you a little video on external references inside of SolidWorks and specifically inside of SolidWorks assemblies. In this uh, simple assembly, I have a box with a lid on it. The lid was created using an external reference, and here in the design tree, you can see that. So after the name of the lid, there's this little arrow symbol, so a dash with the, the caret. Um, this indicates that there's an external reference as part of this and the external reference also shows up here on this feature and it shows up on this sketch. This indicates that the sketch has an external reference that is used to relate off of something else. So what is an external reference? Uh, the definition given in SOLIDWORKS help file says an external reference is created when one document is dependent on another document for its solution. If the reference document changes, the dependent document also changes. So this sketch is dependent on the box, the shape of the box for its position. If the box changes, the sketch changes. And if that sketch changes, the lid changes as well. So let's just look really quick at this sketch. I'm going to edit the sketch. and these inside edges of my sketch here, these four here, you can see these features. There's an on edge feature. Those were created using the convert entities of the edge of the box. So this sketch is related to the box. Um, external references can be created in several different ways. One, doing convert entities, doing an offset entities, or if you're extruding, you can do an extrude up to surface. Those are some of the main ways that people create external references. So in this, I have that external reference. And I'm just going to show you what that external reference does. I'm going to open up the box and change the dimensions a little bit. So you can see this is 24 inches by 24 inches. I'm just going to come here, change that to 12 inches. You see it rebuilds. It's now essentially a foot by 2 feet. If I go back to the assembly file and update it, rebuild it, you can see that my lid rebuilds to the correct shape. It did that because of the external reference, and that's one of the great reasons why you would want an external reference. For an external reference to update correctly, you need to have the assembly file open. So I'm going to, cl well, I'm going to open up my lid go back to the assembly. Now I'm going to close the assembly file. Let's just say, yeah, we'll save them all. So right now I have the lid open and the box open. If I come back to this box and change it back to 24 inches and rebuild that, then come back to my lid, no matter how many times I rebuild this, if I click up here or just hit the keyboard shortcut, my lid is not going to update and that's because there's this question mark after the external reference and that means it is not available well the external reference is not available it doesn't know how to update so we need to open up the assembly in order to get that open so if I open the assembly rebuild say yes rebuild you can see everything rebuilds back to the correct size. So that's really cool what you can do with an external reference. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.